I am having a hair meltdown. Hi, beautiful. It's true, I'm having a hair meltdown. I am just like the rest of you. I sometimes struggle with my hair. I hate my hair so much right now. Like, I hate, 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 hate it. You know, people say hate's a strong word. I can confidently say that is the right word for this situation we're in. I don't like the length, I don't like the color. It's like pink in some spots. I don't know why. It's freaking me out. I need to fix it. And today I was supposed to film another video and then I was like, you know what? Why don't we just film me fixing my hair. I want pale white ash blonde. My hair might be a little crispy, but I'm gonna show you a good way of doing a bleach bath with little damage. Because anything with bleach is damaging, okay? It sucks. It's the reality of life. Okay, so to fix this hair disaster, I want to show you right now what's going on. I am actually embarrassed. I don't know how it got this bad. When I went red, it destroyed my life. This was my hair red or copper. Yeah, don't do that to yourself if you plan on being blonde again. It causes so much damage. I don't know what I was thinking. I actually wasn't thinking when I did that. So now we're in this situation where I have pink going on from that copper. I have red, I have yellow. My hair did not get too light the last time we, we lightened it. It's just all around a fucking disaster. We're gonna start off by lightening my roots. I don't have much roots, but I've been waiting for this moment. To do a bleach bath, I needed to wait till I have adequate amount of roots to make sure that everything processes correctly and I don't end up with like yellow roots and all this shit. But the first thing I recommend doing is using a Malibu clarifying treatment. This is what I'm using today to clarify my hair. This will rip out all of your toner. It's amazing. You'll see how effective these crystal gel packets are. This is by Malibu. It's called Head Lab Crystal Gel XL. Prepares scalp and hair for future treatments, removes buildup, and eliminates oxidized minerals. So it's going to really help clarify my hair and get whatever is going on in here out. So then I'm left with a more yellow canvas, hopefully, to then do the bleach bath later and get even better results. Okay, we got water. We got the crystal gel. All we do is pop that baby in there. I actually, like, never measure how much water goes in here. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry, Malibu, if you're watching. You guys are great. I'm sorry that I don't follow the directions. It's just a lot of reading sometimes for me. You do this, and it creates this gel formula. Oh, someone's a little happy to see me today. <laughs> and then usually you're supposed to wash your hair. My hair is clean. I actually just washed it today, but I have BDSM, Slick and Define Bomb in my hair. It's fine. It'll eat through it. If you want best results, clarify your hair and don't put the product in it. But um, I am just putting it all over my head. <coughs> Just got in my throat. Do that, boom, bam, boom. And then the magic happens. Make sure it's warm water too. I don't know, read the directions if you get this. I got it on, I'm gonna comb it through, hold on. Boom, I'm gonna pop a bag on here, let it sit for like five to literally 15 minutes, we'll see. And I'm gonna watch the color come out and then I'm gonna shampoo and condition and be ready for my lightning services. We have finished the Malibu treatment. As you can see, my hair is so much lighter. I didn't think it was gonna be this light. I'm so impressed. Before you do a bleach bath, try this Malibu treatment. It works very well on me. My hair is so much lighter. I feel already so much better, but we are now going to go in on the roots, get these babies nice and refreshed and then I will do the bleach bath on my ends and show you exactly how I formulate the bleach bath, how it works, why we use it, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get Crystalline to do my touch up and I'm gonna get some work done while she does it. Okay, we have finally made it to bleach bath time. Woo! That's what you all came here for and we're about to do it, baby. We're about to bleach bath my fucking hair that might fall off my head and it's gonna be great. Um, luckily I have fine hair. For some reason, fine hair just tends to like stay in the head. You would expect the opposite, but my hair doesn't snap off. Like I can do so much to it and it's fine. But today's a little risky because it's like the seventh time I've lightened my hair. Yeah, okay. <sighs> <laughs> Let's first get into a few things about a bleach bath before we actually get into how to mix the bleach bath because these are all important things we're about to go over. Who should do a bleach bath? Nobody. Actually, no, people should. This is a great process to do when you're only trying to get a small amount of artificial color out of your hair. This is great for those people with semi-permanent color in their hair or demi-permanent color who are just trying to scratch the surface. Semi-permanent color only lives on the top of the hair. Okay, whereas dye permanent color lives on top of the hair as well as a little bit inside of it. Permanent color lives inside of the hair, okay? So it is much tougher to get out and you need that very strong lightener, those color removers, all sorts of things in order to get that to lighten. So if you
you have permanent color and you're trying to lift it, maybe this might not be the thing for you. This is really for surface lightening, I feel like. Because the lightener is only on the hair for a very short amount of time, we're not getting a lot of internal lightening. It's a lot of that surface. It's going to be really harsh on the surface and strip it clean. That's always the goal of a bleach bath. So if you're somebody who has like pastel pink, you know, any pastel color really, and are just trying to remove that, this is a great process for you. Anybody who is just trying to lighten their demi-permanent color by say a half a shade, say you're a dark brown and you want to be a little bit lighter, this could be a great process for you. But do this all at your own risk. It's going to be much easier for a trained professional to do this rather than somebody at home, of course. I would say in general, this process usually only lifts your hair a half a shade to maximum, maximum at full shade lighter than what you are currently. Another question you might ask is, how damaging is this process? Doing a bleach bath is definitely less damaging than doing straight up bleach powder with developer. It is not far less damaging. It is by no means not damaging. Cause I think people think this is like a way of lightening your hair without damaging it, which is not true. It's definitely still lightener and it's still going to cause dryness, brittleness, <laughs> dumbness to your hair. This can be applied to the hair within a minute, which really helps make sure that everything lightens evenly and at the same time, and the process is very quick. That is where the advantage is. Because you have that shampoo in the formula, which we'll get into formulation later, that shampoo helps get that lightener on the hair very quickly and has that sudsing effect to it that helps distribute evenly to the hair very quickly. So the goal is to expose the hair to lightener for a lesser amount of time than we would have had to, with a regular powder lightener and developer mixture. Now you're gonna mix up your lightener first, okay? I'm doing powder lightener with my 20 volume developer. You can do like a one to two part ratio, one part powder to two part developer. I tend to go for a 20 when I'm trying to do a bleach bath. You can use a 10 if you want a very, very, very gentle lift. It might not even lift your hair a half a shade. 30 volume is obviously gonna give you more lifting power than 20 volume. So if you want that extreme bleach bath, you have some extreme circumstance, you really need to get that out immediately. Maybe go there, but I would personally stick with 20. It all depends on the situation, okay? I can't examine everybody's hair through the screen or give you recommendations for every single person. I like to get a creamy consistency, you know, a nice whipped consistency. Okay, this is the vibe. See what I'm doing right now? Great, looks gorgeous. Now, after you mix that formula, you're gonna add equal amounts of shampoo. So however much lightener you have, that's kind of like the rule of thumb. I mean, sometimes I add less. Basically what happens when you add the shampoo is it's diluting the formula. You're gonna bring that 20 volume down a bit, okay? So it's not gonna be as powerful. If you add less of that shampoo, you're gonna not dilute the developer as much and the developer is gonna stay strong. I sometimes do equal parts. Often I choose to just put in a big circle of shampoo in there to get that sudsing moment going on in the hair, just to get that surfactant in there to help me distribute the product onto the hair quickly, effectively, and evenly. Oh, I also put Olaplex in mine. I did a little just because my hair is falling off. I mean, Olaplex is great. If you want to use it, do it. But back to what I was saying. This part is very important. Apply this to damp hair. Because you have the surfactant in there, surfactants often react better to wet hair. I usually like towel dried hair, very heavily towel dry. Or if your hair is already dry, maybe just spritz it with a bit of water, but nothing dripping, sopping wet. We want to make sure that lightener has an opportunity to get inside those hair strands and the hair strand isn't already filled with water. It's now time to apply to my head. Um, as you'll see right now, in this clip, my hair is already processing. My roots are already getting lighter. And right now my roots are the same color as my ends. So now I have the opportunity to lift out the residual toner I have in my hair from the last time I colored it. Um, and it looks terrible and I need to get rid of it. And I'm so happy it's gonna be gone after this. And as you can see, I already applied the bleach bath to the back of my hair. So let's do the front together. I am just going in there. You know, I am applying it to my damn hair with my hands. You don't need a brush. It's really pointless to me. So I'm applying it to the bottom, working my way up. I'm doing this kind of motion with my fingers and this, okay, to really get it on every single hair fiber. We wanna spread the hair out, we wanna move it around, we wanna We wanna get so much lightener on there that the hair is completely saturated in this lightener. I want it to be nearly dripping, okay? That is when you know you applied enough. It is all about applying a lot of lightener. Boom, 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 get it in there. I'm gonna then go on the other side and do the same exact thing, and I am going to make sure I get every single hair strand, like I said before. Apply, apply, apply. This is looking great. And now, 
After I'm done with that, I'm gonna put a little bag on my head. I'm gonna let this sit for about five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna check it in five minutes and see what's going on. Because my hair is so fragile and it's been lightened so many times, I'm gonna really try and be careful with how long I let this sit on my hair for. All right, my hair has lightened to a great pale yellow. Not really, it's like yellow, bordering pale yellow. I'm getting there. I don't think my hair is ever gonna be pale yellow at this point because I had red in my hair and it's been through too much. It's important to check the integrity of the hair which we did many times. You can just take a strand and gently pull on it. Do a little do, 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 tug, 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 tug. If nothing is snapping, you're safe. But be careful and check the elasticity of your hair often. After this process is done, I am now shampooing my hair twice to get all that lightener out. I'm gonna condition it. I'm gonna dry it and we'll see the final results. Okay, are you ready to see <laughs> the look going on right now? After the bleach bath and after everything. <laughs> uh, ooh, 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 oh. Wait a damn second, what, Brad? Is your hair two totally different colors on both sides? Yes. And that's because I only toned half my head. Um, so this is how it looks raw. Gorgeous. It looks so stunning, honestly. I wish it was a little lighter. I'm not gonna lie, but we're not gonna push my hair to the max. We're not gonna let make it fall off because I've done that before and I don't want that for me today. I actually just wanted to show you guys how I toned my hair because I didn't just use a regular toner. I literally just used one simple product to make it go from this to this, which I'm gonna show you right now. It takes me five seconds to do and it's so f crazy. So to tone my hair, all I used was Supernova Blonde Toning Leave-In Foam. That's literally it. If you guys don't already know what this is, it is my brand new product. It will instantly tone your hair in a matter of seconds. And what's great about it is that it rinses right out. There's no permanent anything. If we make a mistake, we, we like to reverse the mistakes. And it's just easy on the go. It's an easy on the go product for when you just want your hair to look brighter, sexier, more of that silver ashy tone. This is great for people with level nine, 10. Some level eights can see benefits, but most of that nine and 10 area, which is, you can look up what that means. I'll put swatches here, nine and 10, all right? And if you're maybe like a little bit of a nine and a half like this, it'll be good for you too. I usually put this on right after the shower, right before I style my hair. Now we're just gonna take our foam and you'll see it is a very purple color. And I'm just gonna go like this to apply it. Now this does feel sudsy like shampoo. Do not worry, it will dry completely as if there's nothing in your hair. Hold on, I'm distracted. Look at how much it's already changed my hair color. Sorry, every time I do this, I am like, what the fuck? I didn't have to go off this hard, you know what I mean? Like I didn't have to pop off this hard when I made this product. So I'm just gonna put enough all around so it's covering every single hair strand. Great, I'm just gonna comb it through just like this. Oh, look at that icy, icy, icy blonde. And what's great about this product is that it has Bond Builder built into it. So it is going to make my hair healthier, feel healthier, look healthier, be healthier inside and out and just look all around so much more glossy and shiny. And you'll see that your style lasts so much longer against the humidity with this product in your hair. Oh my God, look how silver my hair looks. All right, now the last step is just to blow dry it. I'm sorry, but that's wild. That's wild. I needed to stop in the middle of that blow dry to just admire the fact that they're both the same color now. It's just crazy. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off. And there we go. Both sides of my hair are the same color now. This is the end result. Do I wish it was a little lighter? Yeah. You guys are gonna think I'm sick for saying that, but I, it's, I'm serious. I really do wish it was lighter. Now that I can't see anything, I hope you enjoyed that process. That is how you do a bleach bath, among many other things I explained in today's video, but you can get really serious, great results just doing a bleach bath by itself. I'm actually happy with my hair, I decided. So that's good. It's blonde enough for now. Anyways, if you like shop anything in today's video, like Supernova Blonde Toning Foam, leave in foam, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.